Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Minimo SD into an FTDI uh, board in order to connect your Minimo SD to USB, to USB port to flash it with your uh, OSD firmware and to choose the information that you want to display on your FPV uh, transmission on your video. Okay, so first of all I'm here with the, uh, here with the basic uh, version of the FTDI, I think it's, I don't know if it's a knockoff, but it works, so it's good, it costs a couple of bucks, and I have here also a Minimo SD, which I bought off eBay for about eight or nine dollars, something like that. So what you need to do in order to connect these boards, I'm going to just to flip it over and show you the connection, so let's start with the Minimo SD. We have here GRN, TX, RX, plus 5 volt, ground, and black. Black is left not connected. On the other hand, on the FDDI connector, we have ground, we have CTS, VCC, which is the plus 5 volts, PX, RX, and DTR. What you need to do, you need to connect DTR into the GRN, TX connects to the RX, RX connects to the TX, plus 5 volts connects to the VCC, and the ground obviously connects to the ground. Just make sure you don't connect the TX to the TX and the RX to the RX because it's not going to work. So that's the biggest thing. Uh, and of course, make sure you're connecting your fast 5 volt to the right uh, place because you don't want to burn your FTDI uh, adapter, which happened to me before. So after you've done all of that, just plug your USB cable into the FDDI adapter. Whoops. And now the green, we're gonna see here red light, and we see the light go blinking also on the Minimo SD. After you've done that, just it's going to install the driver on your computer, open your OSD config, go to options, update firmware, choose the hex file, which I'm going to put a link in the description, then put open, just sorry, press the open. I'm not gonna do it because I already done it and I don't want to refresh it. So it's gonna upload your firmware. After you've done all that, you can go read from OSD. You see down, down in data, so it means everything is okay. Then you can go to panel one or panel two, which you can actually switch between these panels pressing this button here. So you can have two panels for if it's more convenient to you, convenient to you and you just select the data which you want to display on the FPV and you can just drag it, so let's see, it, put the hard bit and then you can just put it wherever you want it to be located so on the grid, so it's pretty easy pretty self-explanatory, after you've done configuring all your uh, putting all your uh, desired information on the screen, just go ahead and press the C current tab to the OSD and it's going to be Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be glad to answer any questions you might have in the description below the video. And if you did like the video, please you can share it and subscribe. Cheers.